seven o'clock. Okay, the meeting is open. It is October 29th, 7 p.m. Let's uh, go around and state our names for the record. Paul Clark. Art Edgerton. Sandra Simon. Scott Vaughn. Gino Fellini. Rick Madden. Mark Sotir. And Rachel. And Rachel. Thank you. Sorry. We'll let it slide. Hey, please note that this meeting is being made available to the public through a video and audio broadcast on Comcast and Government Access Channel for broadcast at future dates. Com comments made in open session will be recorded. So we have our first item on the agenda is the uh, the minutes. Uh, they're being uh, passed around for September 24th and October 1st. Has everybody had a chance to view those, or does anybody have any exceptions with the minutes? No, sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Take a few minutes. Let me know when you're ready. The mail's going to be going around. I also have, um, I don't know how it was missed the last time, but this was one of the items for signature in the signature folder for 773 Center Street that you guys voted on um, the NOI for. Um, Don and Mitchell Cahill, they were uh, raising the existing dwelling and rebuilding a brand new home. Just never That's one from the there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so you have on, on session. Session. Oh, okay. Yeah. You live on Silver Lake. That's a little fun compared to that one. Nice little one. Though. Mr. Chairman, did I just uh, have a minute to say something? Yes, sir. I apologize for missing the last couple of meetings. My dad hasn't been feeling good, and that's why I haven't been able to make it to the meetings. My, I heard my attendants come in to question at a meeting a couple of weeks ago, and I just have to apologize, but my family comes first. Understood. Absolutely. Everything so, square away now? Uh, he's doing better, but you know, he's 84, so you got to yeah. take care of dad when dad needs to take care of. And I commend you on your move to the state house to get justice with that. On that issue, I can't uh, take the credit for that. Scotty Manning okay, started well, that, 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 but I hope it goes through. Yeah, yeah. why wouldn't it? it is, Yet in this yeah. day and age, Rick, you never know. Oh. Yeah, and my mom was born in 1920. They're still fighting for her wow. uh, benefits that they never gave her. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Talk in my ear. <laughs> Oh, you can hear me now. So the mail this for signature is going to be going around. So take a look at your meetings. Yeah, I can hear you, but I didn't know where you were. Here I am. Oh, no, it's all right. I can stand. You know I'm used to standing. Oh, you have to stand. Unless I'm bothered. We have plenty of chairs. No, it's okay. I'm fine. Thank you. Where did they put the table from? This is nice. Yeah, this is a, this is a great room. Dickie got it. Yeah. Pull them together. <laughs> no, I, was just, <laughs> I was just looking it's at it. Yeah. yeah, it's twice as big as what we used to cramming into. So right? It's, it's a, nice. a, it's a pleasure, pleasure to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm noticing though something yes. in the not know how to read a level with the uh -oh. picture. Can you can see that? Oh, yeah. He's very proud of this, so let's not go there. I know, I give him every day for it. I had to bring the sec my secretaries in a hot plate so they could warm their food. Because <laughs> oh there's no stove. Oh, that's right. I know. Spain. Can I make a motion? You have. Uh, you guys have the minutes yet? No, we accept the minutes. Almost. Almost. Yes. Yes. Okay. Who is the minutes? Accept the minutes. Minutes. September 24 and October 1. Second. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Oh, yeah. Aye. 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 Great. Um, 40 Center Street. Um, it's going around. Is that, uh, was that in the folder as well? I didn't it, that. Nope, I didn't. Um, okay, great. So this is just a new construction home. Yeah, that's where they tore down that, uh, yep. built that uh, colonial. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The only thing that um, isn't complete 
which I'm sure you've noticed that we've driven by recently, is the landscaping. Right. So we have a $500 deposit from the buyer that we're holding until, they have until the end of next summer to complete the landscaping and they have to mow the lawn twice. Yep. Then we will return their $500 deposit. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, the rule that we issue is certificate of compliance. For, for SE 560959, with the stipulation that we're holding a $500 bond to have the landscape finished by the end of July. Where's we can't it? issue it with, otherwise, it's right down the road. We insist that the lawn be mowed twice in this time of year. You can't get the lawn in and mow it twice, so we take a lawn and then they don't have to do the paperwork. So a motion has been made. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimously passes. Okay, so we'll be coming around for signature. Okay, we have a uh, 710 hearing. Let's go with that here. We have a few minutes. Um, does anybody have anything they'd like to um, I'll add discuss? something that, in related to the hearing from the applicant. So I'm going to choose to um, step aside while you guys discuss the project. That is appropriate. Thank you. Uh, do we expect any uh, butters uh, no. on this? No. My watch says it's um, all right. All right. Please introduce yourself for the record, sir. Sure. Shane McGlone representing Sandra here. And um, she is wanting to upgrade her septic. Do you guys have plans? No. Let's see what we have to say over here. I can just sort of. You know, you, yeah, do this one. Right in front of you So um, this is 71 Furnace Lane. Um, what we are proposing to do is to put in a 1500 gallon tank and a 16 by 28 leaching bed right in the front, um, which will wind up the leaching. I got 100 feet from the edge of the water, but the septic tank itself is only 83. So that's why I'm here tonight to speak to you guys at, um, for the RDA. And it's pretty much. Um, Pretty straightforward, mostly. Where was the existing system? Existing is in the same area now. It's just. Can you move the septic tank further away? Um, pretty tight. Yeah, I mean, this is a 10 scale plan. Oh, we'll do it. Well, like, Maybe what's the space in here? Can you put this closer to this? Oh, you turn the I, they can't get closer than the dotted line, but. Okay. Well, that's a little bit. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be significant. It's, it's tight. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right, it is. I don't think it's going to be significant. What are you going to gain? Yeah. yeah. It's not going to be significant at all. Yeah. So the leaching field is over 100 feet from the And it's pond. always yeah. good to get a new system on the pond. It's an upgrade. It's a great thing for every time it happens, mm -hmm. as long as it's reasonable like this. Is That's great. a big tank, too. 1,500 gallons, right? Oh, that's 150. That's the that's standard size. Right, that's the standard size. Right, Second. The motion has been made and seconded to close. All those in favor? Aye. 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 You have to look at the form. Negative three means I have the same question. There is, there is a difference. Right. Rachel pulled no. about the top of the head. But I'll uh, you know, still sock the regular stuff. You know. Standard oil. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. Great. So, so, so we have we have a, a, a motion has been made. Did we have a second? <laughs> second. All right. A motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Great. Motion carries in. Good night. See you later.
Who's, um, who's presenting uh, for the next year? Yes. I believe this gentleman right Are you from West Sam? I am Weston Sam. Okay. Yes. Uh, we're 10 minutes early. Do we, uh, should, sure. we should probably wait because of uh, right. yeah. potential uh, interest from yeah. other folks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have some time. Uh, does anybody have anything they'd like to discuss? The uh, lead <laughs> removal at uh, Hopmark Street. And the pond, the removal of the floating invasive that uh, was choking up the fish right at the channel line. Mm -hmm. okay. And it was done mm -hmm. before, I believe, all the same long ago. And far away, they did some work there and pulled it out. Paperwork needs to be addressed. Do we need to oh, you sign this already? Move on it. It's, 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 it's in it. No, I did not. You can't sign it. What stage? Oh, you didn't vote. Number of days. You did sign this though? Yes. Correct. No. It's on for the first meeting or two. One of them is here. Okay. It's all for one. No, this is what you're supposed to do. What are we helping to do? Okay. The last guy to be dredged. You're looking at the last guy to, you don't really want to dredge. It's a floated plant. Just remove the floating plant. So all of that stuff between the passage and is all floating well. Did you have you seen it? I've seen it. Seen it. Well, I mean, yeah, seen it. We, we pulled it. It was totally blocked. We would need it was manually with three. I was in the water up to here with flotation, putting hooks underneath it. Five people were holding it onto the bank. Okay. Just to get them through three years ago. So. Yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. what I'm thinking about is different. It looks like what I'm looking at is a root. Gina, did you say anything? Well, it is rooted in. Yeah. Yeah. It's a quad. Am I right? It's in a floating island building type of structure. Yeah, we really have. It has got a root system. Yeah, it's, it's, well, yeah, it's not a yeah, no, root system. It's a thing. I think he has signed this term. You can just pull it right off. The ideal thing, since you have disposal, would be not to take much of anything but the flight. I think Rick signed that one. Yes, I did. Right, so, so in the past, when that's been addressed, mm -hmm. is that been our group that's... Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it has to be permitted. Right, <coughs> sign but, uh, but who, no, who actually pays for it? Do we oh, pay for right. it? Is it no, no, no. Thank you, then. Yeah. 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 Okay. So somebody has to come in front of us. They went in the opposite direction. Thank you. Um, so it is something that we... Yep. Hopefully, be the first people to use the dredging machine. Um, we got something that's got done that would move all people forward on the list, not just ourselves, but the piece of the foot that's going to lie for these purposes. For this county, of the county. Yeah, for the county, it's right in Kingston. And all we need is an operator and the permits to do it. And we can get that machine moving to what the taxpayers' dollars have a generously brand new machine. Yeah, it's 60 foot drag. So, you know, we, yeah. so this is it's, it's, it's great. 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 It's not a dredger. It's not. Uh, you it's know, got an arm and a scoop. You, yeah. yeah. you could do what you want with it, but at this point, there's no need to dredge because we're removing a floating material and i've been in it i was the last guy to actually muck around in it and i can guarantee you there's no more than two feet of root on that stuff at the water line so it is definitely floating you know? where does that get disposed into a dumpster that's what we have to work out no dumpster yeah. and mulches after three years it's organic soil it's a great thing yeah yeah that is funny when you said have roots which which is it Hydroponic. That's uh, floating yep. roots. Okay. Right. The roots are floating yep. too. Yes. Right. The floating structure forms little like buoyant. As it comes down, it funnels out into a stalk, a couple of feet, with fibrous roots, no tap roots at all. Okay. And correct me if I'm wrong, this plant, when it droops and hits the water, yes. the tips start to regenerate, regenerate, regenerate and it just keeps. Rolling forward, yeah, and it, and it turns into a big thick bed, and then ice floating matter. Ice can freeze it up; it can break free, and it can actually be pushed right into the channels, which is what happens with hydrology. It gets undermined a bit and gets pulled in, so it just really keeps coming in. Mm -hmm. Luckily, so, we have one stable bank there to work off of. We're not in the middle of it. Who so pays for the, the the machine and the disposal? Um, the disposal would have to be worked out. Um, that's, I'm sure, the job is being done for the fisheries. 
and the better the waterway for everybody. If I had my way, Brockton would help pay for it, of course, but, mm -hmm. but that will never happen. <clears throat> so, with that said, the funding would have to be worked out with a plan to go forward that would come before us. So, we'd have to give the green light to actually get this together and do work you, out how much do you it would be. It would be, and I don't know, but do you think it would be over $10,000? Um, I think depending on how much you do at one time, that would be applicable that you could do it in well, that frame right, of mind. Right now, all the departments in right. town Ten are percent. working with the capital plan. Right. Um, the gentleman from capital planning committee that the selectmen have hired. So anything over $10,000 has to be added to the capital plan. Right. But under that. Um, under, under that. So no, it's, it's, it's under it's that you can find the money. Yeah. Right. Um, <coughs> now. Maybe somebody would volunteer a place to compost this in a good location, and we could resolve that with a short distance halt. I could maybe do that. You know, because it's, it's in three years, you take anything. My only suggestion there is be careful when you say you're going to give it a place to compost, because composting comes under state regulations yes, it does. and they can nail you for having an illegal dump for doing that because it's been done so I'm, yes. just, I'm just throwing yeah, that no, 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 be careful there's always a roadblock so that could I'm just saying either him or um, other locations so it didn't have to be trucked off it could be stockpiled just like the material off of route 14 that had the um, giant parsnip in it was stockpiled mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, we have locations we could stockpile compost that are within the guidelines of the town to work together with this since it is all conservation and fisheries they all overlap and we kind of get mixed in a tub there boy the health has places that they don't yes at the, at the dump but you, and you have to have somebody has to do the groundwork before yeah, you get back in with a with a load yeah. and, and yeah, pull the chain. I how mean, much material certainly not is going to come out of it volunteering that anything but it's like the monroe street pit is that a place where you could do something like this or nothing can be dumped there right now because it's out to bid to clean the pit up okay so i cannot add yep. any more material till the prices are all in and the pits cleaned up that's okay. what I, is I the bet. projection on that time period first of next year i'm hoping okay. they, they're so, unfortunately all the guys that do yep. that type of work are out straight with all the storm cleanup so um, guideline is hopefully first of the year but no no unfortunately no guarantee right now and the two gentlemen that have looked at it have already given a price so we can't right. add anything to yep. it yep. but that is a logical place to yeah that that yep. has to, the the selectmen have to issue the approval for that okay. that piece of property right let's follow the, the loops <clears throat> but i still think um those have been looked into but it's really um imperative that it be done it's caving, like I said, I'm getting older than I was four or five years ago, and you're welcome to get in there with flotation and get some grappling hooks and yank it out yourself. Um, it, that's getting old real fast, that type of work. You don't know, expect anybody to do that when the county didn't just they, bought a brand new machine no, it's, it's, to do this, and it's a, yeah. it's a beauty. Didn't they, didn't they do that years ago? They said Bob we could be first on the list. Yeah, no, that's we, right. did, yeah. we did that so a little This is an opportunity. Long reach escalator. Long reach brought it up once. Once. But you know, the other thing you've got to look at is who I've you've got to get permission from the I people exactly whose land about. it is yes. first. Yes. Yes. It, it was very easy at that time to get permission. So the last guy to go through it. Some of them have fish and tadpoles in my pocket. Doesn't the gentleman own the house? I think we already have the process. I own the process. That's why I was very easy to get permission. Who is going to bring that in front of us? So you I don't have the property. property. But also, but it's just not getting any attention. The whole, the whole so strip is on. Yeah, 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 the guy who owns the The guy who owns the house owns the house. The skating rink and the He owns the back part of it. The two houses out front. It's a good thing. He owns that street. Yeah, he owns that street. Right? So we just kick back on it. He doesn't actually brings us forward on the plane. Well, has been uh, but he owns not seen any plans at all. Dream. Neither have I. That's what I'm saying. Somebody needs to bring us a plan. Off, so this is off the road. Right. I mean, we need to decide who that, that somebody should be. Yeah. So. Property lines go way out of that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's so funky. Far. I remember years yeah. ago, it was real funky. He owns the land exactly where the... That's what I'm saying. I'm working on it myself. I brought the picture home and started this. And a piece going there. And owns a piece going down behind it on the stream, but not out towards the road. 
fish out. Has anybody talked about this? Uh, it was weird. No, we went, when we used to go in there and do the work, it was weird how it was cut out. Any information about doing that job? No. So, so you know what letters from the landowner? The owners so, are. Yeah, you're going on private property yeah. to work. Yeah. So, um, to this, at this point, then, we're saying there's been no correspondence from any organization to us that we're the first guys to bring it up. No, in other words, the the town who filed Heron Fisheries filed. Oh, oh this? So, yeah, the yeah. Heron Fisheries. Uh, that's what we're talking about. Through okay. the town we're administrator. Talking about the mill, we're talking about the mill pond. Yeah, yeah. through the town right. administrator, it filed. No, that's not that one either. Is that's it? Not <coughs> that. Oh, no, no. That's 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 that. There's nothing. That's not even that one. No. Yeah. No. So, so when they filed this for the whole Heron Run. So sorry about that. Okay. Where it is a paid position for an operator, the county allows us use of the machine, and I believe that they have coverage on it. Um, then all we have to do is receive a written request from who would you say, Bob, with your expert opinion on who is the person or people to move this forward? between fisheries conservation and the uh, well, conservation county, and the county have people, have people that have the machine. It's, the, it's, it's either, the, either the fisheries or the town or the fisheries or with the marine county, fisheries. With a county bought this piece of equipment, aren't they? It doesn't matter whose equipment. <coughs> equipment. Okay, equipment that's, that's, got that's got a hundred. So. Right. That's just the bonus. So that's yeah, just, that's just yeah. the free card on that. That's it. Yeah, that's it's it's getting the proper paperwork to do the work in the stream bed that is necessary. Okay, so, um, and that would be? Yeah, we are the state local fisheries. people. The state right. is, you know, is, we say we, we are enforcing the state regulations. Right. But right. so right. that someone has to come before this board to get permission to do whatever they want to do there in that piece so of land. What that would require would be say amount of material to be removed, method of removal, yeah, and, method of and removal storage or, 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 yeah, or disposal. basically a plan of what you're gonna do. It's pretty simple. It's gonna it's gonna do. Yeah. Even, it's amount of material removed, the location. Method of huh? time, time yeah. and then is it stored or is it disposed of? Yeah, that's so it's basically good. five things to get a really good project going. Yeah. Um, so I think, is there any possible way that since we feel we need them to act in it, is it behooves all of us to get this done in this town that we maybe do a little prompt, invite people to come and express that, send them a letter, and well, and I would, I would suggest you have or, you have people from that have contacts with the marine fisheries people and yeah. the heron fisheries people and so why don't we make and it some, make, someone there just needs to file the proper paperwork. That's all. It's yeah, not a and big paper. deal with the proper paperwork. Right. It's it's no different than weed removal on any pond that we. Right. That so how, how much how much of a proposal would they need to get our approval? Is the question. Where well, uh, we need, we like I said, a minute on this before we have to start. Yeah. Okay, okay, just amount of material removed, where, when, uh, disposal or storage. It's five things. Yeah. So, um, it was mostly how and how you're going to protect the rest of the area yep. that's around there. That's the two things that this board would be mostly interested in. 60 foot reach. Yeah, 120 well, and, and you can and, do it, but and also you know, <laughs> you know, if it's a if it's a money right. issue, yeah. you're going to have fire 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 fire. What you got? What you things you're going to run into is you got running water, so you're going to have yeah. to. You should show this board how you're going to protect the down water stream from the additional silt and floating debris that might be going down. I mean, those are the kind of questions yeah. I'd want to ask you if you're going to do it. You, know, you can go there and dig it, but if the water's running fast as you dig it, and you say it's floating, off it goes, and well, next thing we know, we've we got it down the, down the river. The we river. do have control structures on yeah, well, upper and That's lower. what you need. To, upper, that's the kind of thing you need lower. to show yeah. us. And luckily, we got the small sink at the bottom, and we got the tub above, so we can bring water up and down in there real easy. All right, so I think there's a path forward for that. Yeah. All right, so we're, we, we're late for our hearing, so we're going to uh, start that. Sorry. Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. No problem. All right, so it is uh, 
Let's see what time it is. 725. And uh, this is the notice of intent for 211 Barker Street, uh, submitted by Thorne, DEP file number SE056-1025. Could you please uh, state your name and company for the record? Absolutely. My name is Mel Higgins. I'm from Weston and Sampson. I'm here representing the town of Pembroke for this project. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Do you want me to set up an easel? Do you want me to put my board right in the middle of the table? What works? Yeah, right? I probably just put it on the column. Put it up on the column. Right. It'll be like that. Whatever's the easiest. Actually, I just think I'd look at. Yeah. 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 I try and color code to help the commission uh, see thank the you. Uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. So, um, this project is at Heron Brook Park um, off of Barker Street. We have Barker Street to the south here, and we have Herring Brook, and we have the a diversion from Herring Brook. We have the old mill race as well. These are the environmental areas of concern. Um, there are three parts to this project. Two of them are supported by the town of Pembroke. Now there's a third part, which is a uh, division of marine fisheries. Um, normally the division of marine fisheries would submit an RDA on their own. And, um, but since we're doing work in the same area at the same time, it all just made sense, let's package this together so you guys can see the whole picture all at once. Uh, the three different parts that... Um, Excuse me, so, yeah. so you've made this in conjunction with the state uh, on this plan? So the state work is involved. Their part of the work is included in okay, this. Okay, so you've, you've worked with the state in developing this plan? Yeah, so yes, exactly. Okay, thank you. Yes, thank you. Yeah, they helped, uh, yeah. they reviewed the NOI for their okay. terminology, make sure they were secure with that, yes. Um, so the... One of the parts that the town of Pembroke is going to uh, partake in is the creation of an ADA accessible pathway from the existing parking lot over to, there's a brick fire pit up here. This work is going to be within already altered area. There's already pathways there. There's manicured grass here. So um, work is not going to take place within you know, pristine habitat, anything like that. It's already been altered. Um, the second part is the return of the historic water wheel. Years ago, uh, part of the foundation had broken off, the water wheel came off, had to be removed. Now the town is proposing to put it back in place in its historic original condition. What they want to do is there's still some of the remaining uh, structure in here. They're going to remove that structure. They're going to pour a foundation and um, set up the structure as it was before, but this is going to be a more stable design, so it won't break again. Um, the footprint is going to be within the existing footprint, so we're not expanding it at all. Um, and so the work here is really considered restorative. Um, and then the third part of this project, the Department of Marine Fisheries, is they're going to improve upon the existing fish ladder. So. The fish ladder, uh, one of the parts is they're going to stabilize the bank in two different areas. They're going to add granite blocks to the bank to uh, provide stability. The second part is there are some cobbles in there. They're going to um, move them around by hand to create better fish passage. And the third part is they're going to create four uh, stone weirs in this area, again, to help with the fish, fish passageway. Just going to raise the elevation of the water so that the fish can hop. Um, <clears throat> so as far as the Department of Marine Fisheries is concerned, um, as I mentioned, uh, usually what they do is uh, just apply for an RDA because under their work it's considered exempt because it's just improvements upon an existing fishway. They're not expanding it, um, creating a new one, anything like that. This is just restorative for this fishway. As far as environmental impacts, um, the whole project is within the 200-foot riverfront area associated with uh, the Herring Brook. Um, now, what 
there is 10,700 square feet of alteration that's going to occur within the riverfront area. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's all within already impacted or already altered area. Uh, we're not going in and disturbing pristine land. Uh, I have to say the grass is nice then. It is nice. Yes. <laughs> I'm not uh, well watered. <laughs> um, I should mention that all the work is going to be done by hand to minimize impacts with the exception of the placement of the granite blocks. Those are heavy. We're proposing to bring in a mini excavator just to handle that heavy load. Um, what else? We are, once permits are in hand, we're hoping to start the project in the fall or winter time. Uh, and we feel the duration is going to be two to three weeks. Can I ask what the walkways are going to be made out of? Yeah, it's, it's not going to be impervious material. It's going to be pervious material. Um, when I last talked to someone, they were talking about um, gravel. So I didn't know if they were going to do the, we, we did a small piece of the cemetery. It's a, a cement block, but it's all holes and they, fit, and they fill in, yeah. in them with stone. I know that that hasn't been proposed okay. for that. But I do know what you're talking it about. It just makes so, it, it's just more stable than just basically putting gravel down. You know, yeah. it, it gives you, gives you so the stuff isn't walking away and you're not maintaining the trail all the time. So right. when that plan, that's a gravel pathway? Yes. And that, that uh, suffices for ADA? Yes. Really surprising. Mm -hmm. Now what do you have to do for the uh, ramp approaches? Do you have to put like a, a cement pad in like we do when we do a sidewalk? That's a good question. Uh, you know, to, to the know how initial approach. Right, right, to get up to the bridge. Right. Um, it's it's got to be a ramp. I, you know, we, we just updated some sidewalks in town. And when we update even the, the older sidewalks, if we do any work there, we have to put us the first, I think it's six feet, have to be a cement approach now. Yep. They can't be asphalt. You have to put a rumble strip in so that people know they're getting to the end of it. Oh, interesting. Yep. So. Yeah, sadly, yeah. I'm not the designer of this project. But that works for blind people to live it. Yeah. Yeah. What is, it, what is the shape of the pink line? In the way yeah. it's, yeah. it's just a loop. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's this is the work. And uh, so we figure we're going to bring the, same access with the path all the way up to here. And this area is more just for a walk around, maybe put material down here. Okay. Just some area where we can function and we just want to make sure that we have access to this, and this area has been approved by the commission. Oh, okay. Is yeah. that up by where the rock is? No, it's the rock. It's barbecue uh, pit. Yes, yeah, the barbecue pit. Oh, exactly. so it doesn't go as far yeah, as the rock. Right. Okay. That uh, would be like phase yeah, two or something. Oh, okay. yeah. That's that's the the right there. Uh, correct. And part of that path is over that existing bridge. Yes. Right. Okay, or whatever we're calling that. Yeah, what, what about the concrete under the bridge? Would that be the state? It's there's um, a concrete uh, a fallway, a sluice way. Right here, where there's there the yes. area, and there's material oh, that's sort of falling in. Yeah, it it, it, it it would be ball. upstream and of the wheel. Yeah, first we cross the underneath water. the road, underneath that culvert. Oh well, we're not proposing to go underneath the culvert, so we wouldn't be touching it. Yeah, because what you're going up. That's going to be fixed. Oh, what's uh? Is it been caving in or deteriorating? Because I've I've seen it dry. I've seen fish flopping up there sideways because there's no there is no water there, so it's it's got to be lowered. I would imagine that's something the marine fisheries would. Right. So there we can redesign up there. Yeah, I'm just bringing it up because, because I don't know who is responsible for uh, designing this. And, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, Marine right. Fisheries is the designer yeah. for yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. The bridge that goes across the right. Um, yeah, it's actually it's one for the fish fry. I don't want to take traffic over it. I do not. I've seen a lot of heavy equipment go over it when you move those trees. Some pretty big flats of trees come right over with equipment. Well, um, we banned the cars from going over there, so I'm just I, saying. I'm saying what nothing. I saw. So, I mean, well, a good thing the equipment that they had over there to do the trees. 
They were all track machines. Yep. So it just, oh, no. you know di it distributed the weight a lot yep. better than a, a yeah. rubber tire machine. Oh yeah. Do you coordinate with marine fisheries? Yes. Any of your work? So, do you bring up anything that isn't your jurisdiction, like the concrete pad underneath the, the overpass? Yes. Yeah. In fact, we're, we're you will bring that up with them. Yeah, we're coordinating because this has to be done in the correct process. For example, we can't put in the water wheel and then have D Division of Marine Fisheries go in and uh, do their restoration parts because the water wheel is going to get in the way. Um, so we have to coordinate with each other yeah, and, and the tell sub, them what we're going to be doing. The sub foundations would go naturally first. Yep. And then you'd come up layer by layer. Yeah. And the water would be blocked off. It's a nice bypass channel already. Yeah, and I don't know if I mentioned that. that that's a huge, huge nice thing. And the two week, that's, that's going to do all that's a lot of work in two weeks. No. So. You just said something that isn't settling in my mind, that the water wheel had to be done after the marine fisheries did their work. And I can't see that because the right. water wheel is going to have one heck of a hole dug for the foundation, so which is right in where the marine fisheries are putting all theirs. It just goes to the thing. It depends on the wall. The hole the 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 is the foundation has got to be almost the first thing that goes well, in. Because they they the I'm holes. saying the placement of the wheel itself would be the one probably lost. Or they may have a plan, I haven't looked at it that in depth, to when they do the pools to run a wall. And then that separates that work site from this one. We can sit, we don't have a plan. Well, we do have a plan. It's so just got to have me, elevations and a few. Excuse me, let me just ask you. So, are we going to address plan. the three separate parts of this project independently, or you know, do, do you have subsequent plans that you're showing us that address each area of this project? I do. Because I think we should right. we should probably take them as one offs. It's probably easier and then at the end collectively look at everything. It's almost easier to separate them. So here's the Department of Marine Fisheries work. So would that that would would call that phase one that they're going to do? Sure. Yeah. They would. They're coming in first, or yeah, it's in, I think it's important to understand the sequence. So oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So, so just, you know, whatever the first sequence is, I think we should start there. Okay. Who so directed you to say that? The marine fisheries would move first. Was it the marine fisheries or some project other manager. source? So not the marine fisheries, the project manager. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Um, and if it makes you all feel better too, we can certainly just write out, you know, tomorrow. Yeah. Just the preparatory steps. step. Uh, that might make more sense. So you guys have one right. by tomorrow. So. You could have it. You could have it by tomorrow. I think so. I'm going to be out in the field. I'll have the project manager. He'll be in the office. I think he can do it tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, uh, ten minute. And then you could fax it to Rachel. Yeah. How the process goes here. Yeah. And Absolutely. you could put that on for two weeks from today. Do we have to advertise any of this? No, we would just oh, continue. So we right, the business. Maybe not. Maybe we have to. It depends whether it's a separate RDA or whether it's part of this. Um, I, I would like to see it go forward. The place is a shambles. It's almost an embarrassment to bring people there as a fisheries commissioner speaking right now. Um, it's uh, it's falling in. It's a health risk. It's a hazard for people to break legs. The walls are falling in. It's concrete rubble. We have an option to do a very gracious and beautiful project. And yeah. I agree. Don't go too I far agree. that way. Or they'll, they'll I agree. In they will shut it right down. Do we, if, if that's the case, that land is in our jurisdiction, correct? Right. We should, should do we, we need to shut it down till the project's done? Down. Yeah. Shut it down. Liability-wise. Well, no, you're making it sound. No, no. I'm saying if yeah. you were No, I'm, I'm just saying liability-wise. So. We've had to do it in the past in other areas in town. Well, liability-wise, if somebody brings up a liability issue. You basically close the park well, down until no, you fix the problem. I'm no expert on that. I'm what I've observed, that it's yeah. trashy looking, to say the Okay, least. well, trashy looking is different than right. dangerous. I'm, no, I'm, dangerous. Not a, I'm not a, a physicist or an engineer, but it certainly looks like a mess, an embarrassment when people go there. And it's, it's just an impediment to the fish. It's a fish trap. It all has to be addressed. 
Um, there are people that volunteer their, their time, go in there. I still got pieces of my thumb stuck under there from last year. Move a ton of rocks to get fish up a fish trap when the fish are now protected. And it's, it's, it's our, our duty to take and protect them and to do our best as stewards for them. And I think that has to be a common sense platform in this project. The steps on that. The herring run could really use the, the facelift. The handicap for the soldiers that fought for this war that come to the memorial next door can now enjoy the park. That's huge to me. I don't know about anybody else. That's huge to me. So this is a community based profit everywhere you see, in my opinion for what it's worth, the money high school, but what I see and the work being done every single year to get the fish through and it, it's just, it's a win-win-win, you know, that's what I have to say about it. Rick, I don't think I want to take, we can dispute that, but it's still got to be done in the right proper way under the law. Right. So, and that's what we're here for is to make sure it's done correctly. Right? I agree. Yeah, yeah. We all no, we aren't fighting the project. The project is a great project. It's just getting it done in the easiest and best way possible. So what you're about to explain is the bank stabilization? Yeah, so there's a couple of different parts of this marine fisheries park. Um, two areas here for bank stabilization. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be adding um, granite blocks to the banks to make things stay more stable. So that's bank stabilization. It's not the entire mill run. You know, it's just a small part of it. Um, there's going to be four weirs, which are uh, stone weirs. And again, that's going to help the fish. It's going to help elevate the water, which will help the fish be able to jump from elevation to elevation. Water flows in this direction, so they're building up water behind here, so they could jump, jump, jump. So, so the weirs are taking the place of an actual fish ladder. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. They're resting pools. They oxygenate. Yeah. They, they are okay. slow so look, no visible ladder. Correct. Okay. Correct. Now there was um, there was some talk earlier. Um, somebody had raised concern months ago about the wheel itself, and um, as it as it turns. Uh, you know, fish being impacted by that. I don't want to jump no. off course here, but I'm just wondering, do, do the fish somehow get diverted into the weir where they're not impacted by the wheel? What you can do is you can raise the wheel. There's a space under it. So there's, the wheel will be built and that stanchion will be built in a, in a fashion where it can be raised. Yeah. And it's also, it, they want to raise it for two reasons. One, for fish safety. Also, um, to get it out of the area, say during the winter time and freezing, that sort of thing. Okay. okay. And, and just curious, uh, is that is that uh, a, a mechanical manual process, or is you know, not sure how they design it, and, and who manages the raising and lowering of the wheel? Whose responsibility is that? <coughs> I think, and I correct me if I'm incorrect, but uh, that would be Division of Marine Fisheries and the local fisheries that yeah. would be responsible for that. We could get that answer for you as well, because it just seems important. Uh, that it's right, you don't want to build properly it, and then just have a lot of times things get on paper that they never no, get done. No, we're already in there. When you talk <laughs> about lifting and adjusting, I can see leveling it with shim, but if you're raising it because the water level raised, I, mean, I didn't see that in the design that I mean you're going to be able to move it up a foot or anything like that. It doesn't. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember that being in there either. You know, they talked about it. No, it's there's there's no uh, adjustment bolts on it. Uh, there's adjustment to bolts, level it. You're gonna shim. It's well, not. It means a shim. Right, it's a lot right. of work. Yeah. Well, you want to shim it. You shim it a little bit. But if you're gonna, if the water level changes by a foot or six inches, how are you gonna you almost adjust it that far? Right. Yeah, right. Unless it has like one inch yeah, bolts in it and you run the nuts up underneath it, but that, I mean, not that it's going to look pretty. Right. So is what you're about to show us the the foundation for the 
water wheel? Is that the yeah. next part of the sequence you should? Yes, okay. so here's the water wheel. I was just uh, bringing this up since we're talking about the water wheel, how it might go up and down. Um, and so we're gonna, so here we are right here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna create a new foundation here. And then um, we'll put the water wheel mounts on the side. And that's eventually what the wheel will sit on. And do you have a specific question? Oh, yeah. so, so it sounds like there's no mechanism in order to to, to manage the level of it right now. It's just it's just sitting in a sitting in the stanchion. So, yes. Okay. So I, that sounds like it's uh, collectively that should be an improvement, right? That it needs to I, I somehow be done. Those three, <coughs> the fishermen fisheries can decide how with, about the fish and how much that needs to be done for. As far as getting it out of the flow, um, are there any methods of raising and lowering the retention area above this wheel with the two brooks? What do you mean by the retention Instead area? Instead of um, worrying about overflow, in other words, is there going to be control structure somewhere um, on the front? No, on the front side of the brook. Right, Gav. You know the small brook on the front, the mm -hmm. one against the road. The yeah. 200. Yep. You come up above that. There used to be a area where they, they controlled the height in that whole area. Yeah. Okay. So, is that going to be used right here. up above the two pipes? Okay. Oh, I know. Yeah. Right there. Yep. There's the old control structure. Yes. That could be very useful in deciding how much water goes down which side, not just to deal with raising the wheel, but using that to control the water levels and to you would begin with. To, you wouldn't have to move the wheel as much, but let me, yeah, as much. I got to point something It's out. an old structure, it would be being reconstructed. So also. you're saying the water would back up here? <laughs> or not, you could not. control it. Yep. Where How much the wheel goes through the wheel pools. is where am I? Uh, it's a very simple little structure. The water wheel. This is the uh, culvert underneath right. here. Yep. You need a system here where you can block the right. water. So the flowing that just way up above that way. You can control the water going down that way so that you wouldn't have to adjust. Well, with the double the two wires isn't showing right now, there are those you bike with the new bypass. With the double ladder. With the double tubes are, okay? Yeah. Right above them. No, the double tubes. Yeah. No, they're more closer. Yeah. They're oh, closer the double the tubes are yeah, right on the road. In the, the stream closest to the road. Right. See them? They're, they're charcoal in? No, upstream. They're 236 inch pipes. Right there. Yep. Right above those at the bottleneck. Come three inches up the plane. Right there, there's an old control structure for water. Mm -hmm. If you had a control structure there, as was already there, the foundations are still there, then you could control the pond more accurately and not just the wheel. And that's what it was for, was to control how much water went through the wheel, just like a real mill would run. Yeah. And that's a fish trap that we're disposing of. It's a total impediment to the fish. So we are encouraged and mandated to remove it and to help the fish. This isn't just something we're trying to do to be, you know, congenial. This is a mandate to do these type of jobs. That's the so first impediment my fish come into as soon as they come into the river. That's the first dead end death trap they face in the whole system. Yeah. So I'm not sure your point of this area. Do you, are you saying that? See where the bottleneck's right this? up? See the pipes go up to the bottleneck. Go up to right there. Yep. There's a control structure right there already. So use this control structure and remove this. Is no. That what you're saying? Okay. To raise the pond level where the wheel is going yep. to flow. The water comes into a pond, goes right by the road and through. Yep. If you had a control structure there, you could raise that whole area and control how much water went through under the wheel, not just take these, these two streams marry up, right? Down right, right. here somewhere? Yeah. Right, so I, I guess I don't understand. If you're blocking this off, all you're doing is forcing more water here and or, a bigger problem. Or rely, letting it down. Because unless you have a control here, or force the water it, this way. Letting it down. Right. Mm -hmm. See, the control structure that's there now yep. is overgrown. Rocks have been thrown mm -hmm. in. 
and it's been altered. That control structure is the key to making this project water flow. But there's no control here. That's where the control <laughs> should be. That's where it should be. I agree. No, I agree. Yeah. 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 That, that seems like it's more important than this one. But either, either way, we're talking Both about one of the water points you brought out is that in the past we've talked about having to get the wheel out of the water in the winter time for the freezing and the ice, and neither of these situations are going to take it out of the water in the winter time for, uh, for that problem. And the ice has been the problem with the wheel all Before, along. It broke it. Th there's right. only one so problem I mean, with that. Well, that was a wooden water. rotten wheel, too. Right? There's only one problem to control in the water. The stream wasn't rotten. If we get a heavy rain, Right. We've all both we've all seen it, so it comes down both of them. Oh, yeah. You're not right going to control. Not gonna control. So right. right. Well, that's when you pull the planks. That's all. But even work. even even pulling the planks, if we get a heavy enough rain, you aren't going to pull the planks. You, you, for one thing, I mean, we all know. I mean, I've been out pulling planks, and you know, it's so usually it's usually a day late and a dollar short. Unfortunately, yeah. we make sure we yes. don't have that problem as much as we can because it is as dangerous. much as we can. But because it is what really happens, dangerous. Dangerous. it's the same thing with the whole system, right. not just there. Right. It's, but it's, I'm I'm just saying, right. how many times has it got slipped by, right. and then all of a sudden, we got flooding going across Route 14, or we got flooding going you across Route 53. Line, you, pull, so. you know, that's what we chainsaws for. Long blades, back cut them. Been yeah. done. I'm sure you've done it. I've done it. I'm sure you've done it. So all of, these not to. all of these concerns can be addressed by having a mechanism that raises the yes. wheel? Yes. Screw jacks, other things, or methods. And, if, and presently, there's nothing described in these plans that is a way to lift raise, the wheel. Lift the wheel. It doesn't describe it. I think it. we did write to it that it will be yeah. raised and lowered, but not explaining the actual mechanism. They don't yeah. show any warm bolts or anything right. in your drawing if you flip that yeah. to the other it yeah. almost needs something like they, they control the control that cranberry road wouldn't you? yeah yeah like a screw jack yeah that's uh, that's yeah that's that's I, I, i'm not an engineer so i have no clue but yeah. i would say you need something just like you pull the gates raise and lower something yeah, that you can't, can't use yeah. that during the fish migration though okay And this wheel um, doesn't require a brake, right? I don't know. Honestly. It's, a, it's, a, it, it's like a bucket upside down with water in it. Well, it, it, right. it, it appears so we need, a, so we need more our, information. A severe storm. Both of these sections. Going on it, why don't we go to the other, the third section and it, see what we'll end right. Yeah, so it'll end up. Yeah, we need to establish on this one. 53. Yeah, that's what he's supposed to be doing. That's what we're doing. So I agree. Call the next one. I think the students are here is, is good. So the other one that I should have built the wheel, would they be able to explain oh, yeah. the yeah. 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 already offered to do this oh, one. That's, oh. just that's already been offered to you, by the way. Right, so so far you've addressed the um, accessibility factor. Yep. Stabilizing the edges of the waterway, yeah. adding the fish weirs. Putting in um, a foundation for a wheel, and, and then our concern that the wheel needs Six a mechanism to raise it. Right. Two screws. We leave on, anything out. On that issue, um, yeah. I believe dress, lifting they have already, the uh, people have built the wheel, yeah, I mean, yeah. like, have yeah. donated and yeah. will donate the raising mechanism and design. So they've already built it. They're probably the best people to handle that. Right. And they've already stepped up and said that. We still need to see it all. Right. Right. Can yeah. the agent help us sum up <coughs> the parts we require? We've had these descriptions of the parts of the project. What else do we require? Well, I, we didn't even touch on the foundation hole. To me, this is for the wheel. This, to me, is the number one thing that has to get in before anyone else does too much in that area because it would appear that you're going to have a healthy foundation for the wheel and so doing, the that, doing that the hole yeah. in the wall and yeah. sequence needs to be done before you start fixing oh, the wall yeah. so, around so the fish ladder and everything else. Does that go off an existing think, footing? Uh, I'll leave, I'll yeah, there is footing. an existing footing I think. for the water wheel. They're going to excavate down for foundation. So how are they going to dewater? Right. That's the water right. off right So they're going to sandbag? Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh. And everything's going to be dry. Let me, 
But again, I heard you say everything was being done by hand. Now, address the water. Uh, they're going to dig that foundation. And oh, you're right. The um, okay. Well, I'll, I'll, no, I'll just, that's the only other part is the uh, digging up the foundation. And how yeah, deep? How deep is that foot? I'd have to look. I didn't know. Now, is that something that Marine Fisheries comes in and does, or is it a subcontractor that does this? For the I water wheel, the Marine yeah, Fisheries the has the their own crew, or they subcontract and have their crew on site all the time. You know, but, but that's not part of the division of right. Marine Fisheries work. That's right. That's oh, okay, okay. So, right. well, I thought where they were working in that way, I thought yeah. it became part of this. So, will, yeah. you be, will your contractor be working in conjunction with the Marine Fisheries folks that has, at the same time? Depend. I would have to. I'm not sure if they would be in there the same days or not. Um, do we know who these people might be? Like doing the stonework. I, I I heard that it may be the crew that did the work for the 14 project. Uh, it hasn't even gone up to bid. We have we have plans to up to bid. Because the Great Masons, they work fast. <laughs> I know they're going to be tied up on Route 53 pretty quick. Yeah. They got a 400 foot wall, nine feet tall, and still don't get. When you, uh, when you first said that uh, your goal was to do this in the fall, were you talking about the fall of this year or next year? Because <laughs> it seems like we're a world we're, away we're from fast approaching. having something that it's going to happen this year. Well, we go, we go on regular schedule now. When do we right. go on once a week schedule? We don't. So, two, every two so weeks but for this project, do you think we could actually pull meetings together if we actually all felt that it was necessary and it would behave this project? I think if I think we could do that if there's commitments that they could have the right. information. Right. Uh, I think too that we would we bring need to someone else board. here because usually when at ConCom presentations it's more about environmental impacts. I'm a wetland scientist. Yep. I think I can see there's a lot of design questions, so we would certainly bring a design engineer here who can answer yep. those. I, I think they yeah, probably misled that. it because as far as the wetland concerns, we've kind of lived with them. We know what we have down there to, to work with and all. Yeah. And other than the only part of the wetlands thing that I really am concerned down there is what we're going to do to stabilize the areas while we're working. Yep. I mean, that's, and that's kind of cut and dry. But right. It just means where, where do we put what? Yeah, I mean. Filtration area. Exactly. And other, other than teams. that, most of our problems are other are more of the technical engineering part of it. Right. I think you're going to have to make that front stream wider to keep uh, the uh, water wheel and the weirs uh, at a constant level if you're worried yeah, about the water enough. flow. I think, again, so the street side stream. Just my opinion. The street side stream. The, the one well, on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. This I think yeah. if you look at the box yeah. that, that I showed you, yeah. I think that is the key to controlling the overflow. It's a bottleneck. Either remove it, that's what I would like to open up. For. It's all clogged. I've actually had to cut roots out of there myself two years ago. Yeah. But just the root growth alone was a foot on top of the rocks. Yeah. And those rocks were put in different times. So, um, now, does this project that mandate thing closes itself up. of this, though? No, I don't think it's something that has to be done with this project okay. at all. And marine fisheries would have to necessarily get in there first, or they'd be going over your work, over your walkway. Yeah. Well, again, you just throw some plywood so they, they, they're only taking a small excavator I think in. it's a proper procedure. Well, I think that's up to the designer, but the problem is if you're going over something, you throw some plywood over it. An excavator only puts the same weight on a floor or the ground as a refrigerator. That's a known fact. So I guess basically what they had asked, what we had asked earlier is we're going to need it. just a, a sequence of events. Exactly. Yeah, what I, I have. The people that count that make the list, we need that done. Yeah, what I have down is um, belt sequence. That's going to be important for you folks. Who's going to manage these contraptions once they're That's finalized? Us. Um, I would imagine you guys are going to have somebody on site during, while the work's being done. Oh, you guys are the engineers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, How is the water wheel actually the mechanism to make it go up and down? Um, describe the mechanism and also there's thought about how to control the water levels in this area. 
So no, we have the specs for the top of the uh, mounts already, right? The specs for where yes. it's going to mount. So yes. we could get a smaller version of those specs and get that to the fabricator, okay? We can do a small copy of just those specs where the elevating mechanism will be mounted. That's already a hardscape in the plan, right? Yes. Okay, so we could get that on a plan to the fabricator. That would expedite that. That would help. But we don't need that to close out this nose in the tent. I'm asking if we do. Do we need to go that far? Or do we, we have to continue have this? this year? Yes. Well, I, let, I think we should establish what's in our purview and what's not. So, really, design what, isn't in our. I, I don't think it is. No, I, it's important, say, but right? I don't think it's. That's why it's not. Up. It's not that the conservation It's really right. Yeah, so, you know, it, it, although it's a crucial part of the project, it's not enough for you. But I, think uh, I may take an exception to that because we are the custodians of this whole piece of property, so anything that happens is under our, our uh, observation, whether it be from our job as an environmental person or our job as custodians of the of the park. But uh, we have to look at the whole project, we and not just the environmental. Park. I guess my we point is, I don't think we're qualified to I, to I, debate oh, the okay. structure, the engineered structure of a standard. I would like to. I would like to suggest skills. that usually on projects in town, planning board is involved, and planning board hires a consulting engineer to advise them. And we have the design engineer, and they work together. Is that on this time? What is that on new work or all work? Well, new, new. This is new, whether you call this new or all. This is new work. It's a whole new, new a project job. Now, right. I think uh, because there is no engineer and no planning board involved, we haven't got an engineer. I would like to see the board hire a independent. Non, a non-biased independent engineer just to oversee what we're doing to advise us of what's going on and this is what we would normally do with any of our our other projects because it's quite evident that we don't have all of the expertise to ask the right questions or to know whether we're getting the right answers or putting the right sequence of work we need someone with them professional ability to help us through this project. Like also, this project has been a very issues. hot issue, and by having an independent person, he can take some of the slack from either side and try to put it together so we can get this thing done well, with the yeah, least amount sense. of problems and get it out of our hands. Okay, I'm going to second that motion for well, con -con. Let's, let's make an yeah. initial motion. All right. All right. All right. Make I like motion. to make. I like to make a motion that we hire an independent engineer to review this project and work this project for us, with along with the design engineers to get the project going. And he would be our advisor as to what's going. On. And and what time frame would we be trying to look at to do all of this? As fast as we, as fast as they all well, can do. Have, we okay. can let's have a, a second right, so or not, and then I, we'll have I the second motion. motion. Okay, so we have a second. Discussion on the motion, I, I think. Okay. Um, I think that that's a great idea as long as it's not just another anchor we're dragging around on our neck on this project. To speak, speak bluntly, I think having somebody who can address the issues, whoever it is, on whose ever team it is, is my team. Um, that's how I see this project. Again, so I can see this is a very important project to move forward. Um, just in the time frame of fish movements and year after year things aren't getting cheaper people are moving on in life here and there that are in the project and I think it's time to do the project myself I think it is over time to do the project uh, just because of the condition of the site today uh, it's an embarrassment I've been in other parks they're beautiful Rick we don't have a choice of help dragging our feet we have ADA Right, so on our back. Well, your fish people so, can your no, fish, and well, let, by my expression, no. your fish people can be a no, pain no. in the ass, no, but I, compared to ADA, my, they're not they're no, nothing no, when no, ADA gets on. So my point is though, would we be able on a board here to say uh, we could allot extra meetings if we really felt positive to go forward at the right times?
to move forward. That's what my we can, final we can conclusion was. We can do so anything we, we, I, we I want within that, the regulations. I think that call for a meeting, what, 48 hours? Yep. Sure, sure. Yeah, as long as we post by Thursday, right. we can, and I, I right. do feel to, you know, to expedite this yeah. is in everybody's best interest. Exactly. I also feel that having an engineer, uh, you know, Holding our interests right. would be we the best thing for us, and I think it's a great idea. So it, it, there's been a lot of great concerns that have been brought up, and I think an engineer, we, could, we need to yeah. right. make we sure that our engineer understands our concerns. Them, right. and, and they're working together and with And they come back with a nice idea. piece of paper that we can say, oh, isn't that nice? And off it goes. And be proud of it when it's done. Rachel. Okay. We have a meeting okay, so. already scheduled. We have a hearing for Monday of next week for sure anyway. Okay. Um, and then we have... Um, because of the holiday, we wouldn't be meeting the following week, but then we have one right after that. So okay, yeah. if you could get something to us, even for next month. So let's vote on. We already have Bob's a scheduled. So. Right. so uh, is there any more discussion on the motion? Yeah, we yes. haven't even talked to anybody from the state to see if they can answer all these questions. And are we going to get an overseer for the state? And they're going to, yeah. somebody that's qualified to tell the Department of Marine Fisheries uh, if they're doing their job properly. As I understood your uh, initial statement, you said you were working in conjunction with Division of Marine Fisheries from so the state, is that correct? That's correct. Okay, so we do have engineers on their side. Okay, so yes. see, yeah. I, I... All right, so there's an engineer from there. You, okay. there, be, there would be a, basically a, a triumvirate, a, a group of three engineers yeah. collaboratively yeah. working. But we were so we're, as he mentioned, already paid for... Uh, the, right. We've already paid the wheel is not part of marine fisheries work. Right. So it's right. in our best interest to make sure our asses are covered for safety reasons or anything else. Now. Yeah. So I, I, I'm going to go with Bob that we need to get somebody just to look at it. Um, I would like to say no. I don't think it's time to move forward yet. I think in the next meeting that that would be a, 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 a more appropriate time to bring up that type of vote when we all have more information ourselves on making a more intelligent who is actually the people that are in charge already, a list, who they are, not just this person, that person fictitiously. And then I think next meeting that we would move forward on that motion. I, I would just say that uh, that would be fine, however, it's going to take time to. Uh, I don't know. Do we have to bid out this this engineer? Uh, do we? You know, will it, if we it's wait. It's only a week. We've waited years. I I have, no problem, more informed. I have no problem waiting. To make, I, I, but I want to do it a little, yeah. little but more. A minute, informed. a little while ago, you wanted to push the thing, and now you're holding no, no, it back. No, 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 Goes up yeah. to bid and it's done that. We did it in the Route 14 project. Uh, okay. We've done it a number of other times. <coughs> There's a number of times it hasn't been done. What if we have the two engineers come in? Yeah, one one from the state. What, we, what state engineer are we worrying about? Well, That's what we need to know. We don't know well, anything. We, we, we've, we've, from, we've gone on the premise. That Marine they are Fisheries working with an engineer from the state. We right. don't know who that so, is. We don't have Marine Fisheries is doing only one third of the project. All right. Yeah, and we have responsibility for the rest of the project. This, the right. any engineer we have is only making sure that all of the people are working together for the best of the end, the end project, not any one particular so part. He's we, kind of working it all together. We need somebody from fisheries that knows about where's and depth of water. And, that's, and, and water that person flow. would work with the two engineer, with the design yeah. engineer, and with our engineer, and work it in so it works with everything else in there. Do we have a list yeah. of the engineers on this to actually even know what we're talking about yet? The actual people, the the, the, pro, you know, the people. Yeah, you could add that. Why don't we have that information next week, yeah. and we can make a more informative decision with more information. I would that's just, all I'm looking for. I, 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 to, to I, I think over. that's fine, and I also no. would um, I would appreciate myself to get that information as early as possible. Yeah. We need a chance to review it before the meeting. Yeah. Because there's, there's, you know, it's just like getting this. There's, you know, obviously this is hours of review to go through this properly. We need to get that ahead of time in order to come to the meeting prepared to discuss it, as opposed to okay. looking at something cold because well, that I, doesn't I came work. I an hour and a half early to look at these plans, and I've looked at them yeah. before and. 
extensively today. So you're going to come up with a whole slew of new things, and again, the quicker you can expedite that to our office, Rachel, you could then get them to the group and we could see them ahead of time. Yeah. Right. Um, just one other thing. One thing that I noticed um, right off the bat, and I don't know if it affected the rest of you, is um, on the plan itself, there's no indication of elevation or scale or measurement scale or anything like that. Will we ever be able to see a plan that has that sort of information? Well, we can certainly throw a scale on there. Yeah, it should that's, that's just a preliminary. Is it, is it in here? Right. I, mean, I, no. I didn't get a chance to look at these. So no, I yeah, I haven't either. Has <coughs> just just yeah. Like even, also well, not, even on this, I, I would I would expect to see elevations right. of okay. these structures. I, no. I, I, you know. And there's got to be benchmarks. marks. From and also coming to yeah, from where they made the, the coming to us as conservation, I also expected to see um, your plans for erosion control, and I don't know if I just missed it, but I didn't see it. Intersecting line. Yeah, it was just going to be we'll we'll generic uh, compost like the tubes around the limit of work. Yeah. Is there is it possible to have it shown on the plan at all? Uh, or? Okay, great. We'll thank you. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. But this will all be set off of benchmarks like any other plan. Yeah, right. don't, don't forget that's tidal. Well, the water. You know, when the pulp breaks. Well, yeah, there you, <laughs> you had a motion. Well, yeah. uh, so we had a motion that was seconded. We had discussion on the motion. So um, do we, uh, I, I'd like to close discussion on the motion. Mm -hmm. So is everybody in favor of closing discussion on the motion? Yeah. Aye? No, yes. Yes. Aye. Yeah. Anybody opposed? Okay. So. We, it sounds like, uh, did you want to withdraw your motion based no. on this comment or do you want to keep going? So we're going to have a vote on the motion. So the vote is to um, tonight to uh, decide to hire a, a peer engineer for review. So any other discussion? So we have a... Um, there's the alternative of wait, you know, breaking for a week on it and tabling this for further consideration. It would be another way to have more information to make a more informed decision in one week. All right, so we have uh, two good uh, concepts and I think we need to have a vote. So all those in favor of tonight deciding on hiring the peer review engineer, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Aye. So we have? Opposed. Two opposed? Yeah. And four ayes. Motion, motion passes. passes. Can I make a motion? Can I make a motion to continue this hearing? I have one more thing. Motion. Okay. We absolutely need to continue this hearing. We also, on our DEP return file from no, DEP no. With, a file, with a file number, it says that we need a 401 water quality and a chapter 91. So we're in discussions with Maysoon Rita who issued that. Yeah. And we feel that we're not, we we don't need to file those, and so we're working with her, who is the reviewer. Yeah. Well, and well, we like that we because she's done the same thing to two other projects that we have that she's looking for a 401 on, that yeah. uh, we're having problems with because she's insisting that water is part of the home. Yeah. So once we get a resolution with her, uh, we'll forward it. You know, to you folks, so you guys know whether we do or we do not we need to file those. Okay. okay. So, progress. so I was going to make a motion to continue this hearing to next Monday at what time? I don't have the schedule for me. I'd like to say 7:30. Second. Okay. There's a motion to continue this. Uh, do we have a second? Second. Okay. Motion has been made and seconded to continue the hearing to next uh, Monday at 7.30. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion passes. All right. I a lot of information there. A lot yes. to do. Oh. Kind of yeah, right. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, thank you. Can I make a motion? So, yes, go ahead. Can I make a motion to close this our meeting right now? Yes. So a motion has been made. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Have a great night. So Peace. a motion has been made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Motion passed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>